When it comes to the people of Yokobupe community, there is this man whose memories can never be forgotten by his people, due to his love and fairness towards his people. His name is the late Obun Bola Yakpa I. He was born on the 1st of January 1921. The Obun Bola Yakpa happens to be the first Konkomba Paramount chief in the East Konja municipality of Ghana. Even though the late Obun Bola Yakpa couldn't have a formal education at his youthful age, that couldn't prevent him from achieving his dreams and aspirations. Due to his humbleness and hard-working attitude, most leaders from other ethnic groups within their locality took him as a friend and their advisor. Abu Ndola Yakpa got married to four wives and had plenty children and also acted very well as a responsible father. He later converted himself from their local traditional religion to Islamic religion where he had the privilege to embark on a pilgrimage to Mecca, where he was being awarded a new title as a Haji Muhammad in addition to his real name. During the Konkombananamba war, he was not so biased and hypocrite enough to support his people to invade their opponents, he rather stood up for peace. The late Abon Mola Yakpa was among the peace campaign group that led to the re-establishment of peace, unity and cordial relationship among the Konkombas and the Nanamba people. Of his community, most of the parents ignorantly in Yokobupe by then couldn't see the good side of giving their children a quality education. But he saw the vision from afar and decided to make sure that there's a need to provide a quality education to his children. Today, most of his children are now prominent civil servants, working in higher institutions and others manages their own firms. Here we can talk about the life of his most beloved son Timino Moses who's now the light, savior and the future assets. Yakpo Timino Moses, who happens to be a crow-based business tycoon, despite the fact that he owns a lot of companies in the country, he has never forgotten his origin. He has strengthened and revived the lives of most of the youth from his community by employing them in his companies. Yakpo Timino Moses' dreams is to put Yokobupe community on the map. By doing so, he is commencing some developmental projects in the community he is contributing a lot to make sure that the living standard of his people is at safe. Yakpa Timonon Moses is currently the talk of the town in his community. Most parents from Yakubupe sees him as a blessing to his parents and therefore pray that may Lord bless them with a child like his type. Most of the youth got inspired and motivated by his success stories and keep believing in their hustle. Yakpa Timonon Moses did not thought of giving up even when the journey became too complicated and more difficult for him. After the death of his late father Obun Bola Yakpa the first, there was a chieftaincy dispute but he made sure that he chooses the right person who comes from his own lineage to inherit his father's throne. That was when the warrior himself, Obu Bida came into the scene. He believed and trusted in him so well that he can rule the people of Yokobupe community like his late father did. Our expectations from the current chief is to maintain love, peace and unity among the people in the community. Timonon Moses was able to collaborate with the current chief of Yokobupe community who's the person of Obu Bida II to inaugurate an annual festival known as Yam Festival, same as the New Harvest Festival. This very festival is celebrated in November each year, which is the end of harvesting season to thank the gods or ancestors for being so kind, blessing and protective over the people of their community. The festival is full of merrymaking and also serve as homecoming to the members who migrated to different places due to their own reasons to come back to their fatherland and discuss issues concerning the growth of Yokobupe community. Thank you for taking your time to watch this very special video. You can share this video and don't forget to subscribe to Ability TV on YouTube. See you in my next video. Bye bye.